Video encoding plays an important part in live streaming. It's the process of converting a raw video signal from a camera into a compressed digital format for efficient delivery across the internet. The encoder might be integrated directly into a camera or even take the form of computer software or a mobile app. Often, the encoder as a studio tool is used to both apply a codec that compresses the video signal and implement a protocol to transport that stream over the internet. While this process often includes audio and video encoding, we'll focus on the video aspect for simplicity. Codec is short for compress, decompress. When it comes to video, there's a ton of information contained in just one second, so in order for data to be transferred, the stream of video needs to be tightly compressed. Different codecs achieve this in different ways, but most codecs remove information to make the bitrate small enough for live streaming. Visual algorithms are used to eliminate data that'll go unnoticed by the human eye, and motion compensation techniques are used to reduce redundant data between frames. Once the video has been compressed to a suitable bitrate for the available bandwidth, it's streamed using a protocol. These streaming protocols take the data and reorganize it as needed, breaking it up into optimized chunks for delivery. Some streaming protocols employ standards used by computer networks. They do error checking to ensure nothing gets lost or placed in the wrong order. And other protocols use standards made for servers and clients. They apply more modern methods used by browsers today. When the live video stream reaches its final destination for playback, the receiving device unpacks the protocol and then decompresses the codec. If the device can't do one or the other, then it won't be able to play back the stream. Now when it comes to codecs, H.264, also known as AVC, is most widely used. That's because it's been around for so long, most devices can play it back. The newer H.265, also known as HEVC, works better for compressing higher resolutions, but royalty concerns have limited its adoption by devices. VP9 is royalty free and works great for 4K streaming, so it's gaining more traction into devices. But AV1 is the most current and highly optimized open source option. However, it does require more processing power to get the job done. When picking the right codec, you still need to consider the protocol. Encoder software is mainly designed to stream RTMP, but from the prior list, RTMP can only handle H.264. That's why more encoding software now supports SRT, which can handle noisy networks better and is codec agnostic, so any codec can be used. Both RTMP and SRT are generally not used for playback, so that's where a streaming platform like Wowza Streaming Cloud comes in. It can take the original stream and repackage it into different playback protocols. Now this might be HLS, which supports both H.264 and H.265, or MPEG Dash, which like SRT is codec agnostic, or even WebRTC, which handles H.264 and VP9. AV1 support is also on the horizon. Alright, so that's it for how video encoding works in the world of live streaming. If you'd like to learn more to help pick the right codecs and protocols for your live streaming needs, please contact us at Wowza.